Hey everyone, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, I'll be talking about the best strategies in order to win in the new Undead Siege game mode in Call of Duty Mobile. So last week, I was able to release a beginner's guide in how to play Undead Siege as a first-timer. But this time around, after finding a good team of players to play with, I finally was able to figure out with a lot of help from my viewers and my friends on how to win Undead Siege Hard Mode. So if you're still struggling to get that first Aether camo, don't worry, it actually gets easier once you understand what to do in this new game mode. So to answer some frequently asked questions, do you need gold camo to get the Aether camo? The answer is no. How long is a match? It's 28 minutes if you finish all the way till the end. Is it hard? Yes. Is it unbeatable? No. So yeah, let me send you off to the rest of the video, but before I let you go, do remember to leave this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell down below so you get updated for my future uploads, which recently has been twice a week, but as you all know, it's going to be at least once a week. So yeah, bye everyone, take care! First of all, free up your schedule and contact three of your friends to play with you. Trust me, it's hard to win this game in hard mode if you're stuck with a random that doesn't know what they're doing. Number two, watch this video. Number three, tell your friends to watch this video. Number four, if this is your first time attempting to play Undead Siege, then watch my first video first since those touch on the most basic for beginners and this video is me going into more detail into best strategies to win while grinding the ether camo for your guns. If you want to grind ether camo, make sure to customize your loadout before you hop into a game because not all weapons you want to get ether for can be picked up from the ground. So if you want a specific weapon to get ether for, place it in your zombie loadout. Attachments aren't really important but I'd recommend that you equip extended mag in all of them so you can maximize bullet capacity when you run around killing zombies. Because the most common weapons you can loot are the Renetti, Deagle, QXR, QQ9, AK-47, and AK-117. But the AK-47 and AK-117 are more common in high tier loot zones which are the areas in the map with the purple crystal symbol and are also places with a lot of daytime zombies so it's also the best place to farm ether camo kills early on in the game because these daytime zombie kills also count for the camo grind. First thing is we hop into a chopper, head to a high tier loot zone and loot for guns, ammo and equipment. I forgot to mention in my previous video that other than destroying purple crystals you see on the ground, killing zombies also help you get ether essence. And this ether essence is the in-game currency you'll need later on to buy your custom weapons and operators from the vending machine in the base. The operators will be useful for day 4 and 5 while fighting the strong nighttime zombies. So this is the death machine and the war machine. I'm telling you now, the Goliath is not worth it, so don't ever use it, you don't need it to win. By the first night, I usually use all my lethals already because these become very useless for day 4 or 5, and actually, lethal kills don't really help you gain a lot of ether essence when you're trying to earn enough to buy your custom loadout or your operators for the latter part of the game. Now gathering ether essence for the first two days are really important so that you can start early when it comes to grinding your ether camo for a certain gun you want to get from your custom loadout because you'd need 2500 ether essence to be able to get one weapon from the vending machine. Another important strategy when it comes to turrets is just to focus on one turret first to upgrade that until epic tier because the team can survive well enough until day 3 with just 4 epic tier turrets, meaning 1 epic turret each from each player. And what I do is by day 4, that is the time when I start building my second epic turret and by day 5, that's when we produce 4 epic turrets. So that by the time we go up against the really strong day 5 nighttime zombies, there will be 
16 turrets in the field and ideally all of them are epic tier. I personally build 2 missile turrets and 2 cannon turrets because both are very OP because one spams missiles long range and the other hurls cannons which inflicts significant area of damage. So here is the infograph I follow when upgrading my turrets. So the question is, how do you get enough materials to be able to upgrade all of your turrets to epic tier? Well, the key is to accomplish the side missions during day 4 and day 5. Make sure you go to these locations with your team. The symbol is actually on the map. You'll be able to see it very clear. Take a helicopter, bring the whole team, and do these side missions. Keep in mind that there are actually a lot of weak daytime zombies that spawn there in hordes. So there's actually a lot of opportunity for you to be able to farm kills if you plan to grind for your ether camo. Now there are two side missions for the camo and it's the same for every game series. The first one is pretty simple. It's very easy. It's basically just you breaking a giant purple crystal and it does waste a lot of your bullets but when you break it it drops a lot of loot like epic mods guns and ammo so don't be afraid to waste your bullets because you'll be able to replenish them once you destroy the giant purple crystal but if you do run out of ammo you still have your wrench you can just use your wrench to beat the living life out of that giant purple crystal so you should be fine and the other side mission is actually tougher because you're going to go up against this giant troll that can jump and attack you. But a useful trick a lot of people do when it comes to beating this giant troll is to use the machine gun attached to the antelope vehicle. So there's actually two or three antelope vehicles in that area which you can use to fight against this giant troll. So the machine gun on this vehicle actually has unlimited ammo so you can just spam it until the troll dies. And again, once the troll dies, it drops so much loot from weapons to ammo and to epic mods that you will need to build your turrets for day 4 and day 5. And for day 4, just make sure to start building your turrets one at a time to epic. Hitting a turret with your wrench actually speeds up the upgrade process, so take that to your advantage and yeah, have your turrets ready as fast as possible. Also, remember to move your threats around to protect your base, especially if the zombies decide to attack your base from a different direction and they're coming in, in surges or hordes. In this game mode, threat placement is key since weapon ammo becomes very weak against day 4 and day 5 nighttime zombies. And for day 5, the whole team works to upgrade all of our threats to epic tier and this is when I cycle the use of my operators from the vending machine. Again, I said it earlier, the goliath is not worth it, it's weak, you don't need it, just trust. The two operators that are best for this undead siege game mode is the death machine and the war machine. But keep in mind that you can only buy a maximum of 3 death machines and 3 war machines for every match so I usually save all 6 uses for day 5. And when I take these operators out, I also make sure to aim it at the heavy gunner zombie because this zombie is the hardest to take down, it has so much health, and it has a huge weapon that he uses to injure your base by spamming it with bullets. So make sure to prioritize killing that huge heavy gunner with your operator when you see it. And yeah, just do all of those. Make sure to repair the base and the turrets when they get damaged and you should be fine. So that's it. I hope this helped a lot, it gave you ideas, helpful tips, and enjoy your wins in Undead Siege and hopefully this will help you get your first ether camo. Happy grinding everyone! Bye!